day's not. Cow for lungs, a bit of rough seas. So here we are on a fad, a fisher tracking device. Our yacht's just turned into a restaurant. Welcome, Welcome to, to episode 111. 111. Wild and free, baby, we can dream farther than our eyes about the scene. I don't wanna grow up. So we're at Soup, where are we? Super Sucks? Super Sucks. We're at Super Sucks. We got swell this morning. So we're going surfing. After our surf, we made a last minute decision to leave our anchorage here at Maluk and sail the 20 nautical miles across to Lombok. Yeah. Very, very quite contrary. Sitting on eight knots, count for long, a bit of rough seas. Just slide along. along. Uh, Paradise is over here. They left just before us and they were ahead of us, but. Now we're ahead of them. Bella is just a little bit competitive. And it's not very often we go faster than paradise. Here's what we're eating this afternoon on passage. Just some nasi goreng. So just coming into Lombok and there are fads everywhere. So luckily we didn't come in at night time. That could have happened. But we had good winds for the crossing. These fads and fishing boats were everywhere. The most we've seen in one bay for sure. We left Samoa today at about 2 o'clock and uh, lucky we had good about 20, 20 knots of wind the whole way so we got here in the, um, with a still a bit of light. And as far as the eye can see, I don't know how many fads there'd be, there'd be hundreds of them. Um, so it would have been a real challenge coming in in the night. We dropped anchor and saw that there was waves, so we got ready for a sunset surf. to Catalpa and off to bed. This anchorage at Eckers was magic. There was no waves today, so we headed into the beach. I wanna stay with you. With you. I love the way that you love me today. Let's run. This fad must have been one of the biggest ones we've seen so far, so I had to go on and have a look. On our way again to another bay. So 
is coming into our next anchorage and it's another maze of fads everywhere. It's crazy. Good job, Bob. Yeah. Just tell Slate and Paradise to go around the first one. Tell and Paradise to give him wide berth. That was a little bit hectic. We just went over a rope. We're a bit close to that fad, but as you can see, there is not much room in here. My goodness. It's crazy. They are empty now, but at night time, all of these are lit up with fishermen on each and every one, jigging for squid and fish. This is madness! There are fads everywhere. On the other side of the bay, we just went down to um, see the other anchorage. We thought that would be better, but there's like seaweed farms or something, like bottles in the water everywhere. Random boys, it's just it's crazy. We made our way through the maze and found a nice clear spot to drop the anchor for the night. <laughs> Are you dinner, doll? Anniversary Eve, you know that? I do know that. You got something special planned for me? You know how many years it's been? I do. How many? Do you know? How many? Don't throw it back onto me. I know. Oh. 14 years. Are you sure about that? Now you know why I know. Because Taj is 13 and it's uh, around that time. <laughs> 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 I was pregnant when I got married, so... Well, my old Taj is, I gotta, I'm safe. We had... We met in 2003. Um, we got married in 2004. We had Taj in 2005. Bella in 2006. Do you realise we're we bringing out our 100th episode on our anniversary of oh. 14 years? What's well, if I get it finished? It's not finished yet. <laughs> I'm trying. I gotta cook dinner, I gotta clean, I gotta do everything and make the movies. You're the best. We got to our anchorage today and we had to avoid a lot of things in the water. A lot of uh, fad things. Fad things and Ropes even and just bottles that uh, like had little drink bottle and because we're in Indonesia you see a drink bottle like a plastic water bottle float past all the time. It's not uncommon. So today I saw one not thinking it was gonna have a rope attached to it. <laughs> it was mad panic. But our friends caught it though. Oh yeah. We did warn them. Oh yeah, Alana Lee had just radioed and said, just watch the first fad as you come in, there's a rope hanging off it. <laughs> they, came, they, came in, they came past us um, after we anchored and they said, we found that rope you're talking about. <laughs> so. Well, we had to uh, jump in the water and yeah. pull it off. I'm, I'm assuming it wrapped around his propeller. Yeah, we were lucky. I screamed. Like, stop! <laughs> Not that he stopped. He went full ball into reverse. Yeah. It would have just wrapped around. I seen the bottle, then I stopped. Put it in the neutral. Oh, that was the second lot, but the first one, you went straight back over it. We and Bella were like, what was he doing? But you don't question the captain, you just, just let him do his thing. <laughs> <laughs> It's only so much you can see. You can warn him that there's a rope there. If he wants to full bolt, put it in the gear and reverse over it, then you can't do anything about that. Hey, give me, don't give me much warning notice. Three seconds is all I had to pull up 20 tons. Just doesn't stop that quick, sweetheart. Dinner is served. Butter tempeh. You might be familiar with butter chicken, but this is butter tempeh. Just leaving Fad Central. No, I don't know 
what this bay's called, but there are fads everywhere. Decided to leave this morning and head to the next anchorage, which is about 20 nautical miles away, I think. Got about 10 to 15 knots of wind predicted. Should have a nice run. And it's mine and Lee's 14th wedding anniversary today. So, we kind of wanted to be somewhere nice. In front of the boat, keeping watch for those pesky ropes. Uh, so we left here and we're sailing to here. So we're at the bottom, the southern end of Lombok. Render now, we'll make it somehow. Oh, what do you say? Look up to the sky and see the light. Feel the air in your lungs, it'll be alright. Every breath that you take means you're in the fight. Let it take you high. Look out at the road, wonder where it goes. Feel the wind in your hair, grass in your toes. Let go of your cares on me. We arrived and got in the tender for a little look see. So here we are on a fad, a fish attracting device. And what they use these, this here for is overnight, they shine it on the water and it lights up the water and all the squid come around and then they get their little jig out and then they catch the squid and eat it for dinner. Another beautiful afternoon to stop and take it all in. All you hold dear is what will remain and so you'll see the flames you run through making you into and to play soccer with some nudies and do some limbo. So it's our uh, 14th year anniversary. Uh, I bet Bella's over here. She's just making some uh, salsa. Our yacht's just turned into a restaurant. So Bella's created a little menu here. So we've got starters, we've got desserts, we've got dinner menu, drinks menu. Mum's having a gin and tonic over there. Cheers. Um, the chef's in the kitchen, no, that she's just getting rid of the someone there. Uh, the chef's in the kitchen, uh, I've put in an order for Look some nachos. Present. I got a present. And a toe ring, I picked that up from the shop just behind over there, behind that curtain actually. <laughs> so baby, here's to another 14 years. Oh, cheers. Cheers sweetie. I love you. Mwah. Yes, can be Two little letters change forever And we will touch the skies above the sea Yeah, 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 yeah Oh, I can't get enough Oh, I can't Hey, I'm making some healthy chocolate. So what you will need is one quarter cup of tahini. What you need is two tablespoons of cocao powder, one tablespoon of coconut oil, then 
ingredient is one tablespoon of honey. Should be turning sort of into like melted chocolate. And so all you want to do is just get a plate and some baking paper. And I'm just reusing this one from the last one I made. So you just lock this on. You've just spread it out. You can put some nuts, any type of nuts. I'm using some walnuts. You just want to pack them. And then you can also add some cranberries to make it a little bit sweeter. After you've decorated your chocolate, you can put it in the fridge. Freezer or fridge. If you want it hard, then put it in the freezer. And if you want it sort of soft, you can put it in the fridge. And let's try it. It was hard. Really good, Bell Bell. Delicious, babe. But I can't eat it. <laughs> Taz ah. does not like it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching another video. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to press the red subscribe button down below. If you want to see where we are in real time, you can head over to our Facebook and Instagram at Sailing Catalpa. Or become a patron today. Help us keep sailing. If you want to know how to become a patron, then you can go to the link below. And we just want to say a massive thank you to our patrons because without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. You may have watched our last episode about us hopping off Catelpa and going back to work, but I have to tell you something. We're not going anywhere. Bye. We just want to say a massive thank you to all our patrons because without you guys, these videos wouldn't be possible. It all comes all thanks to you all. <laughs> Ready? Set bell. <laughs> Thank you guys for subscribing. Boom, done.